What is up everyone and welcome back to more Bleach. I am here with my reaction to episode 126. Now in the last episode a bombshell was kind of dropped on us. Now I did go back and watch the last episode in my own time because I was like okay there's a lot that has just happened in that and I needed to of course add them to my notes. Now we found out about a key that would get us to the royal family called the Oaken. However, finding the location of this is impossible because they said that there was like no record of it anywhere. However, Aizen has actually found a way to just make his own. And it's not exactly good news for our little town. So basically, in order to make this possible, he needs to, I want to say blow up our town. It's not necessarily an explosion, but he needs 100,000 souls and there was something else. Hold on. A jurikey? Is that right? I think I wrote it down as a jurikey. I'm not entirely sure what that is at this moment in time. I'm sure I'll find out. But basically, we have four months before the thing that he took out of Rukia is any use to him and then our little town is done for. So a little bit convenient that unfortunately, you know, it's our town. Out of all the towns in Japan, it has to be our home, but you know, the, sh the show is about us, so it, it does make sense. I do wonder though, is it just all for power? Is that why he wants to go after this royal family and kill the soul king? Like, yeah, I just can't, I can't get my head around it. Like, is it all literally just for power? Like, it has to be, because why else do these villains choose to do anything like this anyway? He just wants to cause chaos. And from the sounds of it, if he manages to pull this off, then that's exactly what he will do. Now again, apologies, the storm, it's still a thing. My entire house, it's still standing somehow. But uh, yeah, you'll probably hear all sorts of like rain and wind and maybe you'll get a little bit of ASMR from it. I don't know, like if you're into that kind of stuff. We have two more episodes before the filler arc, which I'm gonna watch in my own time. And I'm sorry if that like bothers anybody, but there's just not enough people that say that they want to see it. So in that respect, I'll just enjoy it, you know, with a cup of tea and some biscuits and it'll be a good time for me. And then I'll return with, I think it's episode 138. I'll have to double check the filler list. So don't forget, if you want to watch this unedited with me, to head on over to my website, suzylou.co.uk, or head on over to my Patreon. The link is in the description. And before anyone asks about my really cool jumper, which is Deidara from Naruto Shippuden, I have no idea where I got it from. It, it was that long ago now, a couple of years back, and I just saw it, and it's got like his hands on the back. It's it's very cool indeed, but I don't remember where I got it from, so I'm so sorry if you happen to like it. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Toshiro. It's you, Hinomori. You woke up. Mm. Um, is it all right for you to be walking around? Oh, he's so cute with her. Oh, I love them. You don't look like you're all better, you dummy. <laughs> she feels so guilty after everything that's happened. Bless her. I'm really just such a- Stop. I never let any of that bother me. It doesn't matter, just forget about it. Because I know that I already have. Now hurry back to bed. Oh my goodness! I mean, I feel like this is what she needs to hear so that she can get over it too, you know? Thank you so much, Toshiro. <laughs> because you know, Momo, even though you're older now, you still look like a little kid. And children need twice as much sleep as grown-ups or they stop growing. Oh my god! What? What? He's gone straight back into captain mode. That's savage. Rocky, who's a freak of nature? 
Besides, you of all people shouldn't talk about growing big, Toshiro. Momo! <laughs> it's like the small people going at it between them. Yeah, well, I'm you're short Toshiro too. Anymore. I'm Captain Hitsugaya. <sighs> yes, of course. Oh, you can just see it in her though. She just feels so guilty after everything that's happened. She probably feels like it's her fault too. It's not. Are you going to fight Captain Eisen? I mean, I'm not exactly gonna go for dinner with him, if that's what you mean. Please save him. Don't kill Captain Eisen. Please. I know that... Everyone thinks what Captain Eisen is doing is really bad. And because it is really bad though, and if it comes down to it, we're gonna kill him. I'm sure that Captain Eisen is being forced by Captain Ichimaru or someone else. <laughs> okay, um... That's interesting, because that's kind of put that in my head a little bit. And I've always been against Ichimaru, so... That is interesting that she's saying that and they've shut her up. Is she onto something here? Eisen. Ah, uh, I don't know about that. See, I remember little things that get said like that. And I understand that she had this relationship with him. They were so close, you know, but he used her. And maybe she just doesn't want to see that. Why the hell should I? I'm afraid the poor boy won't leave if we turn him down. <laughs> so you should be the one that helps him. There's no need to drag me into this. But Urahara, he's so busy all the time, you know, running his shop and... What else does he do? Oh, stop. Why, I'm just a lowly but handsome merchant. How could I possibly perform Bankai? <laughs> You used to be captain of Squad 12, and you were the one that created the Hogyoku, so don't tell me that you don't have a Bankai, because I've learned a long time now! I mean, maybe you could have finished your mouthful first, Renji, you're spitting everywhere. Anyway, he asked you, so you do it. Just leave me out of it. He's right. You should do it, boss. Renji would just screw it up anyway. <sighs> oh, I knew this was coming. I knew it. I think we should make a new rule. Those who don't work, don't eat. I absolutely agree. Can it? I wouldn't talk if I were you. You guys are in the same boat as me. But they're kids, though. You're a grown-ass man. You could at least pull your weight a little bit. I know. How about we do this? Huh? Look, Renji, you have a lot of questions for me, right? Uh, yeah. All right, then. Let's make a little deal. I will answer all your questions if you do this for me and train Chad. I wouldn't call being a training partner a routine chore. Yes, of course it is. I feel like it's a lot more fun anyway if you're actually out there battling with someone, whether it's training or not, than sitting on your ass and just eating food with kids all day. <laughs> like, don't you want to get to know Chad? I mean, he's awesome. I think Chad could be a real weapon, you know? If we can just get him trained to perfection, he's gonna be For awesome. all the fuss Renji was making, it sure seems like he's really getting into this. Renji realized that he's gonna actually earn his food around here. Come on! Running away won't help you get stronger! <laughs> I mean, I gotta say, if that thing was coming for me, I'd probably run too. Like, how the hell are you supposed to defeat that thing? Unless you're Ichigo, of course. Well, I mean, that could work. You could crush him. Hey, give me a break! You're not actually trying to hurt him now, are you, Renji? Your power isn't like that of a soul reaper's. No, not even the Quincy's for that matter. Yes, it's almost as if your power is... Was he gonna say like a hollow? 
Because there is a part of me that always thought of Chad as like a little bit of a hollow. I wonder if that's what he was going to say. Going until you're in trouble is what training is all about! What did you say? If you want to fool around, then quit! Well, they're getting along swimmingly. I never really thought of her as like a good training partner for him. Huh. It looks like it's walking next to an invisible wall. Nothing will go near it. The birds, and all the other living things too. They're all staying away. That's because there's a Jujutsu Kaisen force field around that place. There's a force field there. Can she just walk through it at all, or...? No, okay. I just wondered because of who she is. It's very powerful, but it's kind of similar to my Shun Shun Rika shields. Oh! I can do this. She can. She can go through it. She's gonna find him! Oh man, I'm so gonna get a power cut and I'm terrified. This is so cool though that he is harnessing the power of the hollow. Do you know what I mean? It's so good. It's practice so that he can maintain his hollow form for long periods of time. You did it too. Oh no, I didn't. What? You liar. No, it's true. Mashido was able to holify for over 15 hours from the very start. What? Why is Ichigo so rubbish at everything? Especially in the beginning. Mm-hmm. What's the matter, Hachi? There's a problem. Someone just slipped through my force field and entered yes, the building. Yes, girl! <laughs> she is on her way in. Then who is it? Are you suggesting that it's a visored like us? I really don't know. The thing that puzzles me the most is that they didn't get in by destroying the barrier. Rather, they just simply slipped right through it. She is absolutely amazing. I just love all the techniques and everything that she does. And I feel like nobody expects it from her. She's going to walk down and be like, Ichiko. They're just expecting this like really terrifying person. Ah! <laughs> Hi, guys. Oh, human? <laughs> Isn't this kind of like breaking and entering, even though it's a force field? <laughs> what are you doing, Ichigo? Damn. Ichigo, it's you! Your girlfriend's here, Ichigo! I was just thinking that you don't seem very surprised by all of this. I'm surprised, all right. I just don't know how to act. After hearing all about this royal key, I don't think that it's quite sunken in yet. I think when you find out that the potential is that they could wipe out your entire town, like hundreds and thousands of people, I, I don't know how I would react either. I can really feel it now. I appreciate you giving me the heads up. Thanks a lot. Okay, let's get back to training, Yodi. Wait, whoa, 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 you're just gonna walk away from her like that? Like, what, what does she do now, sit there? It doesn't matter what Aizen is planning. Ichigo knows exactly what he has to do. He's not afraid. He could have at least apologized for making her worry for a few days. That girl was Orihime Inoue. Huh? What the hell, Shinji? Do you know that girl or something? <laughs> Orihime was my first love. I can tell you're just lying again. Oh, you're gonna have to fight now for her. All the cute girls, huh? Funny, I don't remember you ever saying that to me. It's because I didn't, Snaggletooth. Don't take your eyes off me! <sighs> Snaggletooth is such a horrible insult to call anyone. However, having examined her spiritual pressure at close range, I believe she possesses the same type of force field ability that I do. I could feel it. Wait, that's interesting. So she could do something similar then, right? Or has she before? I don't think so. Oh, cat are, lady! Hey, girl. Why so intense? Kisuke asked me to find you. Mr. Urahara? Yes, that's right. 
He wants me to bring you to his subterranean training ground right away. That's it. We got four months. Everybody now needs to be on their toes. Like, we gotta be ready for what is coming next. Uh oh. Tilt the goblet to the west. Smoke! I still don't understand, right? What is the plan here? So he gets his powers back, but then he's not allowed to hang out with us anyway. So he'd be like the only Quincy that would be going up against Aizen? He might as well join us. What's wrong? You call that running away? Your dodging speed is getting slower. Have you reached your limit? I mean, he's probably tired. It feels like this has been going on for days. My arms and legs are getting so weak, they can barely move anymore. I understand his dad, like, training him or whatnot, but I still do- I just don't like his dad, you know? I, is there not a better way to just give him his powers back? But either way, at this rate, he's going to kill me. I'm at my limit. I have no choice but to try and stop his movement and end the training. Yeah, it just feels like he's going too far. Or maybe that's the plan. Maybe he wants you to stop him. The five-fingered stone bed! Greets! All right. Oh! Oh no! Make sure you dodge this one! Over. What? No. Dad. Dad, you took it too far. If you had only used that back there instead of greets, I would at least have been injured if not defeated. Did he not realize though? He must have another plan. However, I'll let you live this time. You had no intention. Don't even start with me. Like, you had no intention of actually killing your son, okay? The whole point of this exercise is so that he can get his powers back. Like, I don't know. I don't like his dad, but I feel like there's no way in hell that he would actually go along with that, you know? There's no way. Like, he wants him to get his powers back. He wants him to be better, to not make mistakes. I just genuinely feel like if he wanted to kill him, he would have done it already. You guys, the lights keep flickering. So I'm going to wrap up this outro very quickly so that I do not lose this episode. Yet, Orahime, she has way more potential than... I think I really thought that she had. So Urahara is stepping in for Urahime and Chad. And then you've got... <laughs> this weather's killing me. <laughs> you got Ichigo ultimately training so that he can be better and harness the power of his hollow. And we have one more episode left. And then I wonder... I wonder if we're gonna actually go straight into like a four month time jump or if there's going to be like just a little bit of padding shall we say after this next filler arc but I don't know what I do know is that I'm going to go and I'll take a little break and make sure that I'm not about to have a power cut and hopefully get through episode one two seven all right you guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one bye